We're back. Episode 2, The Spartans. Get ready for it. I'm excited. Here we go. So when we last checked in, we had only played two games against Clyde and Dumbarton, and we'd won 5-1 and 4-0. And since then, it's been pretty good, actually. Winning, we lost the two cup games, but then we won five in a row in the league. And then it was on to... A very disappointing October, but that's okay. We still won this, the uh, cup, which was... We were up, actually up 4-0 and choked at the end with three late goals, as you can see here. Um, but that's all right. We still got the win, and I'm telling you, Cragen and um, Blair Henderson have been on an absolute tear. As you can see here, Blair Henderson scored 14 and 16. Ridiculous. And then um, if we go back to the average rating, um, we've got Cragen as well, third in the league. So we're doing pretty well so far. Um, today I've brought you back for the next two league games, which are against Clyde and Stranry. And they're actually second and third in the league. So it's going to be a very, very tough two games today, but I'm confident in the team. Um, we did have this this form drop off here, but since then we've we've actually been playing really well. We're unbeaten in our last five, so um, we did have an injury to our keeper, um, which is Herity, who broke his arm, actually, um, and he was out for six weeks, so that was quite annoying, and that's when we went on the bad... Uh, run of form, but that's all right. Um, in terms of transfers that I've made, um, I've only made a couple more. I've, I've gotten rid of a few players who weren't going to play for me and didn't have any kind of um, any chance of playing and their wages were too high. But now I've actually brought in Kieran Dunn, who is unbelievable, actually. He is he's averaging almost a seven. He scored three goals and four assists. Um in his, in his few games that he's played for us. Um, I mean, he hasn't really scored as many as you would have thought, but he is playing out in, the, out in the wing, and his impact has been more than what the score sheet says. Um, and then this is the team I've been running for the most most amount of games at the moment. Um, Mwang, Mwangi or Mwangi, I'm not sure how they want me to say this, but um, he's been decent out on the right. Scoring uh, five goals and four assists in his 12 league games and scoring three goals in two games in the Scottish Cup. And then, yeah, King, who we signed last episode, has also been really good, averaging a seven. Um, and, yeah, that's the team pretty much. Now we'll get stuck into the first game, which will be against Clyde at home. So I'll take you to that. Okay, so this is the team that I have gone with for today. Um, you might notice Eze, which I didn't talk about before, but he's actually on loan. Um, oh, sorry, on trial. And there's a nice little uh, rule in the league where trial is so allowed to play three games. And this guy is actually so tall and like he's a really good player. So I thought I would just snap him up. I can't actually sign him because of the work permit. He, he's from Nigeria, so he won't be able to make the team forever. But... I thought, why not get him to come in, play a game? Um, I also forgot to mention that Craig Moore, who is one of the 10 Craigs at the club, um, he's been injured. He um, hurt himself uh, when he was playing for Scotland. So he, he'll he be back soon. Um, but, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. But what can you do? He uh, Morrison's come in, he's done the job, or I've been putting Craig in at the uh, defensive midfield and playing Armstrong, but he's a bit tired today, so he's going to sit out, and um, Morrison is going to play, so let's get into it. Okay, here we go. This is the team we're going with, I'm pretty happy with it, our form is really good as you can see, um, let's see what they come out with, their form is also crazy as well. Um, They've won their last five, and they're in a four-four-two. But um, I think I'm pretty confident. I think we should be able to get a few, get a win here. At least, at least come away with a draw. Um, 
We've been scoring a lot of goals from corners, which is a bit worrying, but, um, I mean, if they go in, it doesn't really matter how they go in, isn't that right? So, um, we've got Swan out here on the left, plays into King, back to Swan. Nice build-up play here. Playing at home, which is nice, and Henderson's in, and he scored. I'm kidding. I'm not joking. He is like the best player and I actually went back and had a look um, at the the records for this league league two and Blair Henderson is actually the all-time leading scorer I'm pretty sure he's um he's the Spartans all-time leading scorer according to the records on football manager but he's the the all-time leading scorer in this league he's played for a few other clubs in this league and then went down to play with us uh, last season and he's come come back up with the team and made it into the game again and here he is he's scoring on oh this will be offside but like he's just a, he's a great player and I'm I'm very happy to have him starting on our team all right they've got a corner here hopefully we can keep it out I really like this big hotel or big building in the corner it's it's actually quite cool um Looks nice as they miss a shot there. It was pretty close. Okay, Swan on the left, throwing it in to Henderson. Plays it into King. He's going to go for a run, have a shot. Oh, he must have kicked the floor there or something because that was shocking. Damn. That is not good. Adam King has been injured. He's potential lower leg. So I'm thinking I'm going to play more. He, oh, I don't know, more, he, he's only recommended to play 45 minutes, so maybe I'll just take him off again at the end of the game, but far out, that's annoying, that's really, really annoying, okay, we've made it to half time, 1-0, we've been, like, it's been pretty, pretty much in our favour the whole game, we've had 10 shots there, 4 pretty happy with the boys so I'm going to tell them that um, I'm pleased with the number of shots we've taken and they all react well so let's get into the second half let's see what we can do I'll show you a bit of build up play we that we'll have here more collects it passes it to Craig in out wide to Thompson who's been really good Craig Thompson who is featured heavily in the last episode he plays it into Mwangi who loses it but Craig in's there plays it to Moore to Morrison over the top to Mangi. Who scores? Let's go. His eighth goal of the season. He's been unreal as well. And it's it's disallowed. Oh my god. That's embarrassing. Now I don't know about you guys, but corners this year, they've been unreal for me. As we have one here. Alan's about to kick it in. And I was hoping Eze could get onto that one, but the corners, like, I still haven't put a corner tactic on them. We're scoring so much from them. And, like, even free kicks as well. We get so many chances as they recover the ball here, play it back to the keeper. As Moore wins it back from the keeper to Henderson to Mangi, who's going to be in here. And he's missed a lot. Eze wins the ball but kicks it back, uh, heads it back to Cuddly. He plays it to Galloway, who's going to go for a nice little run here. But hopefully Dunn can win it back. He can't. It's a shocking Sunday league pass. <laughs> And even worse, um, cross in there, but Heritage's got control of that one. He's going to throw it out wide to Craig. My boy Craig Thompson plays into Craig and to Mwangi, who's running down, it, running down the right with it. And he has a shot, and he's hit the bar. Oh, he's hit the post. That's so disappointing. And now they're on the attacks, Clyde. They're third for a reason, and this looks like it's going to be a goal. Oh, what a save from Herity. Okay, I'm just going to make some changes here. Um, Eze, he is playing well, but he's knackered. But, you know, I'm just going to leave him on because he hasn't really... He's got one day left on his, his trial, so he's going to stay on. I'm going to take off Mwangi and play Russell. And then... Uh, Moore actually looks like he's okay, so I think I'm going to leave him on and just do that for the time being, and then we'll hopefully end the game on a win. 
Okay, we haven't had a highlight for a while now, so hopefully this is going to be the win. And Kragen's injured. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. This is not good for the next game. We've got two of our best players, King and Kragen. Kragen is our best player, and he's just been injured. And Armstrong's going to have to come on. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Potential lower leg. Two potential lower leg injuries. I don't know what Clyde's doing out there, but that is, like, they are just horrible. They're just, they've injured two of our players. It's ridiculous. All right. Let's confirm this. Hopefully we can get away with the win. There's six minutes of extra time, and there's a highlight. Please no. And they've got it. Oh, no. Dunn gets it back. Thank God for more. He's going for a run on the inside. Plays it to Russell. Maybe we'll score, actually. As he plays it back to Dunn, who, thank God, Moore's there again. Plays that wide to Swan. I'm not liking how many people we've got forward. He plays it into Russell, who heads it over. Four minutes left. Hopefully we can hold on. Jesus. Oh, it's been a horrible game for this. Oh, one last highlight. Hopefully this is the siren. And it is the whistle. We've gotten away with it. We've won two injuries. One goal in the second minute has done it for us. Happy with that. Blair Henderson, as I said, absolute jet. Just carrying us. We, def we definitely deserve to win. With a two... And a half XG to their, their half a goal. We had 19 shots to their six, so definitely deserve that one. Okay, and King is out for three to six weeks, and I can't actually choose physio or doctor or anything like that. I think it's a bug in the skin that I'm using. I'm currently using the uh, Work the Space skin. Um, I think that's just a bug because the game's still in beta. And then Craig, and let's have a look. Out for three to five weeks. This is devastating. I don't. We don't have much depth there, so looks like I'm gonna have to find someone to come in and play for us. Okay, we are playing Stranry in the next game, and as you can see, their only loss in the last five has been to Clyde, who we just uh, dismantled. So we're equal on points. Um, they've actually scored more goals than us. Um, Sorry, they've had more goal scoring against them than us, which is the reason our goal difference is better. But oh, I'm not looking happy for this. This is the team that I'm going to go with. Um, we're bringing in Carnwath, who's 17, and he's not he's not good, but he's not bad. He, he can do the job. Um, we play him as the central midfielder on support. Oh, sorry, as a box-to-box. -box. And then Armstrong playing, he is... He's not tired anymore as he had the last game off, pretty much. But going to have to play Craig Moore as well, who was injured. He's come back at the right time, thank God. But it's terrible that everyone else is injured. Um, and then we've got Russell out on the right, Mwangi out on the left, and Henderson at striker. But I've got Stainrod on the bench, who he's come off the bench twice, so I haven't really needed him. Um, we signed him. He's been he's a, he's an all right player, but we haven't needed him at all because we've had Henderson killing it, who scored uh, twenty one in twenty four. So this is the team we're going with: Eze out, Sonka in, and then Craig in at left back for Swan. And let's get into the game. Okay, sorry, I've just made a few more changes to the team sheet. I've put Dunn in. He's actually not as tired as I thought he would be. He's able to play, so he's gonna play. Um, and then I've moved more to the uh, centre mid on support and played Morrison, who is all well, he's all right. He's he averages a six point six, so we we'll give him a go. I'm just wasn't too sure about Carnworth. Um, actually, no, you know what? I'll take it back. Carnworth's gonna play. Um, I'm 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 gonna stick to my guns. He's gonna play. Um, got Sonka and Allen back there. And let's get into the game. Now, I forgot to mention, in the last game against Stranry, we actually got taken uh, to the cleaners, losing 6-2. Um, I don't think we played as bad as the scoreline score suggests. Oh, it was actually 4-0 at one stage, and we brought it back to 4-2, I'm pretty sure, and then they scored another two. Um, but 
they, they were just very clinical. I don't. It, it really shouldn't have been that many goals we conceded. Um, but let's hopefully uh, change that for this game. Okay, here's the team sheet. We're walking out. Um, I'm excited. This is the lineup that they're going to go with. I've been losing that one game, as I mentioned before, and they're also going with a 4-4-2, which we have actually not been too bad against. As you can see, not much separating the two of us. If we win this, we go a game ahead, and it'll be very nice. And there's a highlight of kickoff, which I don't know whether to be happy or worried, or hopefully it's one for us. And it is, because Dunn's got the ball. He plays it back, and not really a highlight. Okay, they've got a corner. Six minutes in. Snedden's going to play it in. Hopefully we can defend this nicely. Moore's there. Dolan kicks into Armour to Snedden. He's going to cross it into Dolan. And Heritage's made a very nice save. He's actually been really good um, since coming back from that injury. He, I know he's a bit sus at the start of the season, but he's been really good. Can we stop this one? Snedden plays it in. Craig's there. Kicks it back out to Snedden. And that should do that one. Okay, we've got a corner. Armstrong's going to kick it in. Lots of corner highlights in this game. Um, he plays it in. Sonker's there. Plays it back to Kamar. Who has a ping. Oh, my gosh. If that went in. Oh, boy. Okay, Allen's got a free kick from D. Plays it in. Sonker. And he's been taken down. Let's go. Henderson's going to have a shot here. Hopefully, we can score this one. Here we go, he, takes, he lines up, takes the kick, and it's in. Let's go, 1-0, 27 minutes into the game for Henderson's 22nd goal of the season. He just steps up, takes it nice and clinical, sends the keeper the other way, and we are ahead. And they've got a corner, not even two minutes later. Dolan, he's going to kick it in. Moore's there. Gallagher collects it, back to Dolan. He's going to whip it in. Oh my gosh, I was just speechless and I, I, I was so nervous I couldn't even talk. And they've got, they're got going to have another corner highlight again. Can we just stop with the corner highlights today, please? What is Herity doing? And it stopped, thank God. Alright, maybe we can score off one. Armstrong to whip it in. And I've just seen down the bottom right that Clyde has equaled up, which is not so good. And Sonko gets it in! Let's fucking go! Sonko, 10 goals from your centre back. At like halfway through the season is unreal. If we get 20 goals out of Sonker, I don't know how we're not going to win the league. Because look at him. He just rises up above the rest. Just bangs it in. What a goal. Okay, and that is half time. Two goals to nothing. Very happy with that. We've we've been the better team so far from what I can tell. They're, all of their chances have just been from like long shots from corners. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let's tell the boys that they're doing brilliantly and let's keep going for the second half. Another highlight for us in the 64th. They whip it in. Or wax it out and Carnworth is there. Plays it to Thompson, to Allen, to Armstrong. Out wide to Craig. Has he got anyone to give it to? He doesn't. Plays it back to Moore. He plays it to Carnworth. He's going to play it to Henderson who scores and it's not offside. And it's 3-0, and I'm thinking I'm going to take Henderson off before he gets injured like everyone else. That's an unbelievable game today. Stainrod's going to come on. And let's just watch this replay here. What a what a play. They're, like, Stranier just can't get the ball. Carnworth plays it in. Henderson, that's just clinical. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. I don't know what their centre-backs are doing. They're not marking it. And we don't need two replays. <laughs> okay, they've got a throw-in here. Snedden plays it to Armour, he plays it back to Snedden to Forrest. Armour on the edge of the box, he has a whack, and it's off. Okay, it's the 87th. Thompson is looking a bit worrying there, so I'm going to take him off for tapping. And Moore as well. We're up 3-0, I may as well give Morrison a go. Give tapping a go. Take off our important players. And in saying that, I'm going to take off Dunn as well, and Mwangi. Just get out of this... Um, unscathed hopefully we don't concede but it's gonna be a win either way as we've got another highlight actually Craig's got it plays it back to Allen 
out to Craig, who's also been a really good addition on loan as well. They, Clyde actually loaned him to us. I don't know what they were thinking. Um, they must have a superstar left back because if Craig can't get a game for them, I don't want to know what their actual left back is. Armstrong plays it into Stainrod, who hasn't really had a chance this year. Um, McFarlane also hasn't really had a chance as well. All right, Tapping's got it, playing right back to McFarlane. And that's it. That's the game. Thank God. 3-0 against the equal top team with us. Henderson and Song Kerr, unbelievable. Song Kerr with an 8.2. Can't get player of the match because Henderson gets it with his two goals. But I can't laugh. He was actually very good today with 92% pass completion. And the XGs definitely had us on top with two goals to their one. They couldn't get one because Heritage was unbelievable. And I'm just going to tell the boys, what a win and a good performance. Very happy with the with the way they played. Let's have a look at the league table. Around the grounds, Clyde actually did get the win in the end. Um, so that puts them one point behind Stranry now, and we're a game ahead with a nine goal difference now, which is very, very, very handy. Okay, so I have just gone and had a look at the record. We've actually won, what is that? Four, in, four on the trot, haven't lost in the last six now. Very happy with that. Ainsley Park Stadium is looking like a fortress. Um, the last game we lost there was in October, and it's now nearly January. So I'm having a look at the schedule. I might meet you back for the end of the season, or maybe for this game against Strainer again, um, as that will be a pretty important one at the end of the season. Um, but yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I'm going to try and get these out as quick as I can. Um, it just depends on how much time I have to play the game. But um, I appreciate anyone who sticks around and watches it. Um, I know I say I'm a lot, but I'm only just starting out. And I just appreciate any support that I get. Um, hopefully this, this game against Hibs will give us some money because we're actually not doing too shabby. We played... Who did we play at the start of the season that got us a lot of money? It was um, Kilmarnock at the start of the season in the cup group got us like 170000 which was absolutely clutch as. We still have a bit of way to go in our wage budget, so if I can find someone in January and pick them up, I'm going to have to because still we have um, King and Cragen out for a while. So... We could probably do with another backup there anyway because Craig Moore's been quite injury prone as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time towards the end of the season around April.